Hello boys and girls, after a long break, this is Chuck Bass once again for Card Runners. Um, I haven't really been around lately, and I think the last time I recorded a video for Card Runners was sometime in February. Um, the reason for that is that, quite simply, I pretty much haven't played a single hand of poker since February, so it's been like uh, about three or four months, and sadly, that's time that I was forced to take off due to some medical reasons. I'm not going to waste your time by complaining about that any more than that. If you really care, I have a blog on card runners where I have told the whole story. In a nutshell, I just basically got really sick from grinding too much in the sense that I pretty much couldn't even look at, look at the computer monitors anymore without getting incredibly dizzy and just feeling nauseous. Anyway, it's been better lately. I managed to make a comeback, which is awesome, because about a month ago I was still unsure whether I could ever pretty much play online poker for a living again. But yeah, here I am, and I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Um, anyway, so it's now early July as I'm recording this, and uh, I made my comeback around mid-June, I think. And before that, I had taken three months entirely off poker. I hadn't. I played a couple of times at the local casino in Helsinki just to maintain some touch, but that was pretty much it. I haven't played a single hand of online poker, and even after five years of playing professionally, still taking away that much time from poker and just like completely ignoring it for such a long time period, it definitely does show. And that is kind of the theme of this video. It's This will be my comeback video series. I think this will be three parts, although I'm not exactly sure yet. I guess we'll find out after I finish recording. Anyway, the point here is that I'm going to be recording two different tournaments on Replayer. And the first one here is the... Uh, Party, Party Poker Sunday 50k guaranteed, which was played a couple of weeks ago in mid-June. And I think this was my first Sunday since I got back. And I was so incredibly rusty. It's like, it's almost as if it's a different person playing entirely from, from the old Chuck Bass, one could say. I managed to find a table this and I, managed to go pretty deep in the final table, but I did not win this tournament. And when I replayed this tournament, I found several mistakes that I think may even ultimately have cost me the win in this tournament. I don't think I like massively screwed up a single hand. There's not really anything like really cringeworthy in here. It's just more about like missing out on spots to steal some pots, just missing out on pretty obvious three bit spots and like having my sizings just a little bit off and stuff like that. Like basically the kind of stuff you could expect from someone who has been playing professionally for so long that he's got some idea, obviously, even if he hasn't played for a long time, but it's just like kind of rusty. So I hope that, I mean, all of us, obviously we have to take time off sometimes. And after getting sick myself, I'm definitely going to be taking some time off in the future every now and then just to make sure it doesn't happen again. But uh, I hope that just from this video, maybe others could use this as a kind of a pointer video about what, what kind of stuff you should be paying attention to when you make a comeback. Like what are the kinds of things you might be missing out if you're not playing your absolute best game. And more importantly, I think that the, this could be very helpful for anyone who's maybe struggling at upper mid stakes or anyway, anyway below high stakes pretty much. Because I think I'm playing a pretty solid good poker game in this video, but I'm definitely not playing perfect and I'm definitely missing out on some spots. So this is kind of like I'm now railing myself, just pointing out those spots, both to myself and to all of the viewers. So hopefully, this first part of the video could help help you to find find those spots as well and maybe take the the remaining step forward to the highest stakes or whatever.